The notes on the cello A string are very similar to the notes on the D string, the same red finger pattern, and we're following our same musical alphabet, except this time it's a little easier because we're starting on the A string. So we have every time we put a finger on, our group of fingers, in this case for two and three, it makes it go up by one note name. So we have A, B, C sharp, and D. Again, A, B, C sharp, and D. And coming down, D, C sharp, B, and A. So when we are looking at it on the music staff, I'm gonna turn this around. I'm gonna get some staff paper here. Put my cello down. here. When we're looking at our music staff, it's important to remember where our notes are on the staff on each string. There we go. So we have our D string notes that we were learning earlier, we've already learned those, are in this area. If there's a note in this area from the D, E, F sharp, and G, we know that those notes are gonna be on the D string. Those are our D string notes. So our A string is the next highest string. It's our highest string. And so those notes are going to be higher on the music staff. They are your highest. And so they are going to be up here above the music staff. I'll use a different color that you can see a little bit better. Let's try red. So we have, here is where our open A string is. Remember we have open one, three, four, the next one up is our open A string. I'm going to open this up so we can draw them lengthwise. So that's our A open. Then we have B. We're following our pattern of line space. B, first finger. Ooh, that's kind of hard to see. We'll go like that. So A, B. Now, because we're going to keep going up, we need an extension line to help our eyes see and be able to tell which note. So it's not just a note kind of floating up here. Okay. So we have our line going through it. We have line, space, line. So we've got that line through it. And we're going to put a little sharp in front of it for now. So there's our C sharp, third finger, two and three together. And then line, space, line. Our last one is sitting up here on top of the line in the space. It's our D fourth finger. Okay, so we've got open A, first finger B, third finger C sharp, fourth finger A, sitting up on top. So again, anything that's on the top line, any notes that are on the top line and up are gonna be on your A string. Now it's just a little get ahead type of a thing. Your G string notes are the bottom half of the staff. They're going to be G, A, B, and C. But just all of these are your G string notes. And then your lowest string is going to be the notes below the staff. It's kind of divided into four sections, our staff is. And it's going to have some ledger lines that are going to go down. Okay, so that's your C string. So when you're learning, when we're learning note reading, one of the first things you want to look for is where that note is on the staff so you know what string you're going to play.